Hey YouTube, how's it going? This is Gamester81. We're going to take a closer look at a very interesting game for the Atari Jaguar. It's called Atari Karts. It came out in 1995. This is a really rare game for the system actually. This particular scene right there, it changes every time you boot it. There's a different character. And let's check out the levels. There's different, you know, beginner, warrior. Warrior's kind of medium. We'll try that. There's eight different characters. The only one I know of is actually Bentley Bear. You might know him as Bentley Bear from Crystal Castles, classic Atari game, but all these other ones are weird and whacked out. Bentley Bear is by the most balanced. Four different cups, Borgus Cup and Tempest Cup. Tempest obviously named after the game. Borgus is actually the street. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. It's a street that Atari Corp was located off of in uh, Sunnyvale, California. As you can see guys, this is obviously a Super Mario Kart clone. This game came out three years after Super Mario Kart. And though the graphics are updated, the rendering is much clearer, the colors are brighter than Super Nintendo, it's a stretch to call this a 64-bit game. Um, doesn't have any jumps or anything like that, like Super Mario, uh, Mario Kart 64 would, would have, rather. This game is very difficult to play, uh, mainly it's because of the controls. As you can see, I'm bouncing off everywhere. You get tapped and you either stop completely or you get boosted up. It's very hard to uh, control. In turn, A is, t if you're familiar with the Jaguar layout, A button is a far right button, that's to go. If you actually want to use your weapon, you got to push C. So you basically have to let off the gas to use your weapon, which is also a pain. Those things in the road you run over, very similar to Super Mario Kart, they don't refresh after every lap, which is a bummer as well. I have a particular weapon right now, I have no idea what it does. You, there's no firing weapons. This lap right here, this stage, reminds me a lot of Bowser's Castle. I don't understand what's with Cinderella's castle in the background. That's kind of weird, but I do like the, the, the rendering in the background with the mountains and you know the different levels, layers of, of graphics. They did a good job with that. I will give them that, but they should have. It's a it's Atari Jaguar. It's supposed to be a more powerful system. This uh, turtle I, it makes you slow. There's a rabbit that makes you fast. As you can see, it's I'm bumping into walls. I'm having, you have to get at least fourth place to pass. If you don't, you gotta retry, you get three tries, and then you, you, you have no more continues after that. Um, see how easily it is to get stuck. This is one stage, this is super frustrating. There's, there's not really necessary walls you have to worry about, which is a grid thing, but th there's no map, so you have no idea where to go. Unlike Super Mario Kart, where you have a, a split screen, dual screen, where you can see a map, uh, where to turn it, etc. so forth. You don't have it in this game, so I have no idea what's going on. There's a superpower boost right there. There's also those lakes, those little puddles you'll see, and if you hit one of those puddles, which I will here in a minute, I believe, um, it, like, there you go. <laughs> you can't, you obviously spin out, and it's super frustrating, and then you got these guys who hit you. Um, this game took me a while to get the hang of, and this particular steering wheel, I have no idea what it does. This level might look very similar to you as well from uh, Super Mario Kart. Uh, but what's interesting about the ice here, it's not slippery at all. And there's also puddles in the stage, but they don't make you slip. So that, again, doesn't make much sense. But you'll see there's random things. Uh, like, look at those rocks right there. I'll make, how are you supposed to know not to hit those rocks? Um, again, I don't know the programs were, programmers were necessarily thinking when, when making this particular uh, game. I think they could have made it lot better job there's there this is two player you can't play split screen there is no battle mode which i absolutely love battle mode for super mario kart and i think that's one of the strong suits for mario kart um, that you could play you know up to four players later editions and, and do battle modes I, th I love that fact but this game doesn't have that this game will set you back uh, if you were looking to a complete box like the version i have uh, look to spend at least $100 for this game, believe it or not. If you want just the cart itself, you know, pay expect to pay anywhere from $40 or $50. You can check eBay right now and, and see what I mean, but it is a, a, a really rare game. I think it was probably because it was probably a limited release. See how I got bumped into that, that wall? Uh, and then there's this, oh, this makes you steer the opposite way, right? So left is right and right is left. So it totally screws me up. And then you get these, these little craters and look at these controls. This is a great example of how hard it is to get out. Look at that. Unbelievable. I'm about to get lapped. 
and these, as you can tell, these courses are very, very short. Uh, this is kind of a cool stage as well. Now the walls are, are hidden when you'll see, but when you're taking a turn, they're, they're semi-hidden as well. But at least this this is somewhat doable on the stage, a little later stage. This is the last stage in Tempest. Tempest is the fourth hardest cup. Miracle Cup is the hardest. Miracle is obviously the company who made, uh, produced this game, and so it's a Miracle Cup. As I kind of mentioned earlier, Bentley Bear is actually, he's probably the most balanced uh, character in the game. Other ones have faster acceleration, braking, etc. I like him because I'm kind of, you know, familiar, I'm familiar with him from, you know, Crystal Castles, which is a great game. But here's the end, guys. All that work, and here's the end. That's it. That's all you get. There's no celebration. I got a third. What do you do? Well, thanks for watching, guys. Until next time.